dealing with is this this myth of romanticism, this myth of I found I, I usually say the one, 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 you know, <laughs> I found the one, and that the I the myth says that if you find the right one, you've accomplished it. The reality is that you can't know the one until you get married. And then you know they're the one because you got married. If you start with that mythological idea, then basically you get married and difficulty happens. Well, if the myth says marry the right one and it's going to be clear sailing, I got married and it wasn't clear sailing. Guess what? I must have married the wrong one. We should never enter into marriage with an open door policy or a mindset that, okay, this may not work. We enter into marriage that says that this is my life for the rest of my life and this car has no reverse. My marriage has to tell the truth about God. And that's, I don't, we don't always think about marriage in that light. We think about loving one another, taking them out to dinner, having great vacations, and all that stuff is wonderful, sexual interaction, all that stuff is really great. But the truth of the matter is, the ultimate purpose of a marriage relationship in human history, frankly, is that my marriage is to reflect and to tell the truth about the God we're related to. Apparently, there is there's one way that is Carrie's way. I really. expected to be more patient. I expected to be able to connect with her all the time. To be active. To have the right answer all the time. Of course, there were things that I wanted. And I expected to be able to make her laugh all the time. Gonna get. It would be great if my husband loved to, you know, play soccer and go camping with me. I enjoy a clean house. And work out with me. I like things organized. Sex. Almost every week. Um, I mean, it's being with your best friend all the time. That's not always true. Also, that it would be fun. And to... Get an RV and travel the U.S. I... I thought it would be a lot of work. Which it is. Because we married forever. But, um, awesome. <laughs> yeah. I always thought of myself as being a very confident, independent person. I didn't realize how vulnerable marriage would make me. If I do something and I try and it it doesn't work out well and she's disappointed or annoyed, like that just, that kills me. Little things would come up and I have to check myself and say, why am I f feeling this way or why do I? What do you want to save it? I chose to save it. I've heard about you. This is the first time I think I really believe in you. If you'd like a makeover for your marriage, we're inviting you to a weekend. You ready to get in touch with your feelings? Marriage isn't just about how your spouse makes you feel good. You're looking at each other like your opponents on opposite teams. The only way you're going to win is you work together. Lose your life. What do you want to save it? I chose to save it. I've heard about you. This is the first time I think I really believe in you. I don't care if I win, but I don't want you to lose. You win, I win. Oh, honey, I love you. Forgive me. I do.